Over 40 billion Oreos are made every single year. It's the world's most popular manufactured cookie. The geometric design stamped into these cookies has the Nabisco logo, the symbol of European quality, surrounding the word Oreo. William Turnier created the chocolate cookie design we see today back in 1952. Headphone jacks might become a thing of the past because of wireless technology. But if you've seen one, you might have noticed the rings at the base of the plug. One ring means single sound playback, two rings represent stereo sound in the left and right ear, while three rings means you've got stereo and a microphone built in. Now, the iconic orange, red, purple, yellow, and lime green rings of Fruit Loops hide a deep secret within. They don't represent different fruit flavors. All those rings are the same fruit flavors blended together. The colors are just for show. Mm. The E in Dell's logo is at an angle because the founder, Michael Dell, wanted his technology to turn the world on its ear. A compass uses magnets to point to the magnetic North Pole. But it's not really north at all. The North Pole of a compass magnet points toward the north because the north and south attract. Earth's south magnetic pole is near the geographic north, while the North Pole is near Earth's geographic south. Confusing, isn't it? Those little red spots you sometimes see after you crack an egg are nothing to be worried about. Tiny blood spots can be caused by a small rupture in the blood vessel of the hen as it was laying the egg. Eggs with these blood spots are safe to eat, but that spot can be removed if you want. It won't affect the taste of the egg. That's comforting. Ketchup is a word taken from many cultures, like Chinese, Malay, and Indonesian. It originally meant a pickled fish sauce. Catsup is also an acceptable spelling use. However, ketchup is the most popular way it's spelled these days. Airbnb's logo isn't a bent paperclip, as it may seem to be. Bella, as it's called, for belonging, means more than that. There's a person's head, the location symbol, and a heart for love. All joined together, they make Airbnb's iconic A and symbol of togetherness. E120, or natural red 4 food coloring, aka carmine, is made from tiny beetles. It's been used to color anything from cakes to candy to even drinks. That shine on candy also comes from bugs. This time, it's the Indian female lac bug. The beetle leaves behind a substance that is scraped from the trees to be formed into dry shellac that gives that glossy look. The Mozilla Firefox logo isn't a fox at all surrounding the planet. It's a red panda instead. The name Firefox is the English translation of its Chinese name. Those maintenance covers in the street are round for safety reasons. In past civilizations, like ancient Rome, manholes – that's what they were called back then – were square-shaped slabs of stone. Unfortunately, these were prone to accidents. If they weren't placed properly, a square cover could slip through the square hole diagonally. Ow! Placing a round cover eliminated this problem. A circle cover won't slip inside because there are no angles. A tomato isn't technically a vegetable, but a fruit. Banana trees aren't related to palm trees or trees at all. They're herbs. Banana is considered an herb because it never builds a woody trunk the way a tree does. Instead, it forms a succulent stalk, like lemongrass or its cousin, ginger. You can call them berries as well. The Golden Gate Bridge color wasn't meant to be the orangey-red that it is today. The bridge's original color was suggested to be many other colors, such as black with yellow stripes or even candy cane to make it visible for passing ships and aircraft, especially in the frequent San Francisco fog. But when the steel arrived covered in an orange primer to protect it from rust, the architect preferred the international orange color, and it stuck. Those legs on the back of keyboards aren't an ergonomic design to help your wrists sit better. Using the legs out for too long can tire and hurt your wrists, plus slowing your typing down. The hinge legs are just there to help you see the letters and numbers better if you don't know how to touch type. The color of a chili pepper reveals nothing about its taste or heat. The smaller a chili is, the hotter it'll usually be. The heat doesn't come from the seeds, as believed, but the white membranes that hold them. 
hidden within the Toblerone logo of the mountain is the image of a bear standing on its hind legs about to eat that yodeler over there. No, not really. This is because bears are a big part of Bern, one of the biggest cities in Switzerland where the founder created the Triangle Chocolate Tree. Toblerone is also a play on the founder's family name, Tobler, and the Italian word Tyrone for honey and almond nougat. The space below a cup of noodles is there to protect the noodles during transport. This technique is called a middle suspension. Not only are they protected better in their styrofoam cup, but it also helps those noodles soften more evenly and quickly. Now, even though you might have thought that the hole in the barrel of a ballpoint pen had no purpose, it does. It's called a venting system, which helps the ink flow more smoothly. This way, an even amount of air pressure is created inside and outside the pen, allowing the ink to flow into the point easily. One of the most recognized logos in the cycling world has a hidden item in its famous logo. Inside the Tour de France name, a cyclist hides in the O, U, and R. Those metal brackets on the top of the nozzles in gas stations have a unique design put into place in case of accidents. If a dodo accidentally forgets the nozzle is still inside the gas tank and starts driving away, the magnetic brackets separate without damaging any part of the gas pump. Wendy's logo is designed off of the daughter of creator Dave Thomas. It's also named after her nickname, but there is more to the logo than that. Wendy's collar spells out the word mom. While unintentional, it became something to mean a homey feel more than any other restaurant out there. Finding the right lane to be in while driving for your exit can sometimes be confusing, especially in a foreign country. Pay attention to the side of the road that exit signs are located. It'll be the lane you need to be in. Some toothpaste has a little seal on them that needs to be removed before you can use them. Instead of peeling back the foil layer, the toothpaste lid has a little spike on the top just for this reason. Tostitos have a secret symbol hidden right in the middle of their name. The two T's in the middle of the logo resemble two people enjoying Tostitos over a bowl of salsa. The salsa bowl is in red and forms the dot in the eye. One of the most recognizable figures in the world, the Statue of Liberty, for 16 years functioned as a fully operational lighthouse. However, the light was barely visible, even from Manhattan. In 1901, it was eventually decommissioned as a lighthouse. Tourists could even visit the torch for a stunning view of the city. But an accident damaged the Statue of Liberty's torch in 1916, and it's been closed to the public ever since. The Do Not Remove Under Penalty of Law tag on mattresses isn't put there for the consumer or void your warranty either if you do remove them. In the 1900s, manufacturers used to create the filling with basically anything. Animal hair, old hospital beds, or clothing. It didn't matter at the time. Strict laws created the tags to stop recycled materials from being used and sold as new. Good thing! Toyota's symbol is more than just some random rings combined. The three overlapping ovals symbolize the merge of the hearts of consumers and Toyota together. A California sushi roll is made of seaweed, rice, cucumber, avocado, and crab meat. But it's not crab meat at all. Surimi is an imitation crab meat. It's made of white fish blended with sugar instead of crustaceans. The fish mixture is then heated and pressed into shape. The logo for Beats is just a lowercase b inside of a red circle. The circle represents a human head, with the b being the headphones in their shape. All those little black dots around the edges of car windows are called frits. A frit is a painted black enamel that's put into windshields during manufacturing. They block ultraviolet rays and help distribute temperatures between the metal and glass. There are 24 symbols hidden inside the Unilever logo. Let's count, shall we? The sun, dove, plant, spark, chili pepper, spoon, bowl, flower, ice cream, mmm hand, hair, lips, swirl, fish, clothes, bee, particles, packaging, transformation, waves, DNA, palm trees, heart, and virtuous cycle, whatever that is.
These represent everything that the company believes in and produces. DNA? Bobby pins are designed so that the zigzag part goes onto your scalp, not the flat part. It gives a greater grip on the hair and skin, making the pin stay in longer. The story that the pins were named after those fashionable London constables called Bobbies is not true. I made it up. Whether it's something as simple as a button on your jeans or something that's part of a larger moving mechanism, here are 26 secrets to everyday things you probably didn't know about. You use doorknobs every day, so it's right to be concerned about how many germs could be on them. However, they have made doorknobs out of brass partly for that reason. Brass provides an antimicrobial effect, eliminating the microorganisms that were hoping to start a colony on your doorknob. Your pants have that one-fifth pocket that's recognized as the small useless one. Originally, it was there to provide a safe place for your pocket watch, something that was necessary when first implemented in 1901. It then continued to remain for traditional purposes. However, it's still a great place to put your Tic Tacs. You've probably mistaken those little rivets on your jeans as some form of fashion statement, similar to the small pocket. In fact, they're incredibly important. They are there to provide extra support for areas that withstand the most strenuous parts of your clothing, preventing them from embarrassingly falling apart. That little button at the end of your seatbelt seems like it's way out of place. In fact, it's there to ensure your buckle will always remain at the end. So you won't have to awkwardly fiddle with your seatbelt every time you put it on. You're in a new car or a rental, and the gauge tells you the gas is getting low. You don't know which side the fuel cap is on from the inside. It can cause unnecessary effort at the gas station. However, your fuel gauge has an arrow that reminds you which side to fill your gas tank up from. Some models of cars may also have a gas tank hose instead, with the hose pictured on the side that the cap is on. Hiking and walking through snow requires the best kind of footwear. The shoes which are perfect for this also have an extra eyelet for your lace to loop through. Looping your laces through the extra eyelets will give more support for your ankles and feet and will provide more stability as you walk. But as you walk, blisters are also a concern. The sweat in your shoe creates friction between the feet and the shoe, which then helps create the blisters. Antiperspirant that you use for your armpits will help keep the feet from sweating. Just make sure you use the clear one. Cooking for people is always nice. However, sometimes the guests are late. Yep, we're all guilty of that sometimes, right? The extra drawer under your oven where you've been keeping all of your spare pots and pans was actually made to keep your food warm. Great for those who are late to the meal. Ever wondered how long that padlock could possibly last when it's outside, in the rainy weather, keeping your bike safe? It has a little hole at the bottom of it. It's there to drain water to avoid corrosion on the inside. It also serves to provide oil, further prolonging its use. That hole in the elevator door isn't there to check who's inside so you can avoid sharing a ride with specific people. It's a keyhole in case it breaks down. Ketchup, sauce bottles, and all other condiments we love all have a stage when it's difficult to get the insides out. You try hitting it, shaking it, and poking things inside to encourage the tasty condiments to come out. Luckily, there is an easier way to do it. The label at the top suggests where to tap the bottle. The sauce will come out easier and smoother, allowing gravity to take the place of frustration. The purpose of wooden coat hangers is to help repel pesky insects and avoid fungal growth that eats away at your clothing. As it's made of cedar wood, it contains oils that have insecticidal and fungicidal properties and were used as far back as the ancient Egyptians, although they used it for other purposes. We've all been trained and tested at the art of typing and know the correct way to use a keyboard. But you may not have noticed that the F and J keys have a small ridge at the bottom. They're there to help you find your correct starting place with your fingers on the keyboard, without having to look down. If you've been lucky enough to get the window seat on the plane, you would have noticed that little hole at the bottom of the window. 
It helps with the air pressure on the plane. The window itself is made from acrylic and isn't actually glass, which saves it from fogging up so you can see the scenery on your journey. The windows on planes were originally square, however, they would continuously break from the constant changes in pressure. Round windows are able to evenly distribute the pressure, ensuring you'll have a pleasant journey without falling out. For all you Nintendo Switch players, those who have tried to taste your cartridges will notice they have a bitter taste. The manufacturers added it intentionally, as the Switch's cartridge size is very small and it might be a hazard for the youngest players that have a tendency to put things in their mouth that they shouldn't. So the bitter taste made from denatonium benzoate ensures that they won't be tasted for too long. Cosmetics containers that are filled with products used for your skin have a secret number on them. This is to help inform you how long the product will be usable, ensuring it doesn't cause the reverse effect by damaging your skin instead. Pen lids have a hole at the end of them. It's not there to help your pen breathe and boost performance, but it's there to help you breathe. Just in case while you're sitting in class or at work and you're chewing on your lid and just happen to swallow it, you can be rest assured if it's stuck, the pen makers were thinking of you. When you're traveling by car or any other form of ground transportation and you're trying to drink your favorite pop from a straw, you'll find it quite difficult to do at times. Simply turn the tab on the can around so that your straw easily fits inside, making it easier to drink out of. There are always spare buttons when buying new clothes, along with a little bit of fabric. It's far too small to repair that crutch part that always rips first. The fabric is actually there for you to test how to wash it, so you don't accidentally ruin your brand new clothes. Determining how much pasta you need just for yourself can be difficult to figure out. Your big spaghetti spoon with the big hole on the inside, that looks like it's there to drain water, is actually there so you can put the uncooked pasta inside before cooking, so you know exactly how much you need. New shoes always come with those strange little packets. That's silica gel. The gels are there to reduce the moisture in the air to avoid any fungal growth while the shoes were waiting to be purchased. There's a lot of chemistry involved to get you that silica, and it's very effective, capable of absorbing 50% of the humidity. So make sure you don't throw it away. Next time you need to dry out your electrical devices, it's a lot easier than using rice. It's difficult enough to see at night whilst driving, but it's even worse when the driver behind you shines their high beams. Your rearview mirror has a tab at the bottom. When you press it, it changes the angle. One is for day driving, the other, well, for nighttime. It'll help in case that one person driving behind you has forgotten to turn off their high beams. Although your screwdriver is ergonomically made for your hand, sometimes you have that one screw that's too hard to loosen up. The handle is also shaped so you can easily fit inside of a ring spanner or wrench, allowing you to apply more force, ensuring that you can remove that troublesome screw. The skirt part on an escalator seems like a good spot to get your foot stuck, but in reality, those long brushes poking out aren't there to give you an extra shine on your shoes. But for safety precautions, to minimize the risk of trapping objects between the steps and the side of the escalator. They make plane wings smooth to let air flow easily around their surface and reduce resistance during the flight. So why did they add these convex yellow hooks? They obviously worsen the aerodynamics. Yeah, they do, but they're also necessary for your safety. Imagine a plane making an emergency landing in the open sea. Everything's going well. The aircraft is sliding on the water. Then rescue boats sail to this place to evacuate the passengers. They leave the plane through emergency exits located above the wings. Before the door opens, the escape slide inflates. Passengers need to walk on the wing and go down the slide. But the wing surface is slippery because of water. They might fall and get hurt. To prevent this, the stewards install a rescue rope. They attach one end to the door and the other to the edge of the wing, passing it through these hooks. During the evacuation, people hold on to this cable like a railing and don't fall. They can also attach rescue boats to the wing with a rope and these hooks, so the sea won't take people far away from the plane. By the way, the plane can stay on the water for 10 minutes to 60 hours, 
depending on the model, weather conditions, and the pilot's skills. Both the main and emergency exits have extra handles for crew members. During an evacuation, people may panic and accidentally push the flight attendants off their feet. To avoid a fall, they hold onto these handles. A seat belt on an airplane has a slightly different purpose from that in your car. The one in the vehicle protects you from a horizontal hit. When a plane is going through turbulence, it's shaking up and down. Your waist belt keeps you from hitting the ceiling. Crew members have handcuffs for problem passengers. If someone behaves badly and interferes with the flight, flight attendants have the right to chain them to their seats. To do this, they use police handcuffs or plastic ties. This is the maximum that can be done during the flight. Then they report a rowdy person to the airport and hand them over to the police after landing. During an emergency, oxygen masks drop automatically. They have an extra purpose you might not know about to equalize the pressure and prevent panic. Air pressure can change because of turbulence. So, among other things, the masks help passengers stay calm. Your seat is your safe haven. That life jacket under it won't let you drown. Also, the seat surface is made of waterproof material. If water gets into the cabin, the seat will save you from freezing, since it won't get wet. It's also fireproof. The cover can prevent the fire from spreading through the cabin. But more importantly, it can save you from the flames. Of course, you'll most likely never have to use this feature, but it's nice to feel safe, isn't it? You can use the tray table in the seat in front of you like a hammock. Just tie a belt, a blanket, or a towel around the table and stretch your feet out. You might have noticed black triangles on the wall above the seats. For you, as a passenger, they may indicate the seats that have the best view of the wings, where you can take the most beautiful flight photos. But the triangles weren't created for your camera. The crew members monitor the condition of the aircraft through windows under these signs. Suppose the wings freeze, the engine catches fire, or the pilot receives a signal about some problem. In that case, the crew will quickly move to the triangles and assess the situation. And there you are, sitting under the triangle, looking at the wing and thinking, why are the wings located in the lower part of the plane? They could install them above the windows or right in the center. Actually, some planes have them in the middle and higher up, and each location makes sense. The engine and turbines are under the wings. It's much easier to repair them since they're close to the ground. And in case of an emergency landing in the sea, the wings act as a rescue cushion. They help to keep the plane on the water. Empty fuel tanks under the wing can also help the plane stay on the surface. But this position has certain risks. Debris can get into the turbines on the runway. Fortunately, this is unlikely to happen since they carefully clean it. Planes with wings in the middle get the least air resistance. That's why they build fighter jets and supersonic aircraft this way. Big cargo planes have wings in the upper part of the hull. Thanks to it, the aircraft stays close to the ground. It makes it easier to load cargo. Also, it's safer to land on unprepared runways with high wings, since debris won't get into the turbines. The aerodynamics of these planes works better thanks to such wings. They get less air resistance and deliver cargo faster. Oxygen inside the masks is a combination of chemicals. The transportation of oxygen tanks is too expensive for the airline. They take up a lot of space and increase weight, which leads to extra fuel consumption. Therefore, they use a chemical oxygen generator. It's located in the panel above your head. There's a small tank with barium, sodium, and potassium compounds. They mix and create a hot chemical reaction that releases oxygen and passes it into the mask. Small holes in windows save the glass from breaking. The air pressure inside the aircraft is much stronger than that outside. The difference is so big that the air can just break the glass from the other side. To prevent this, they drill small holes. The air penetrates there and reduces the load on the window. By the way, they have a round shape for the same reason. It's ideal for an equal distribution of air. If they were square or triangular, Air streams with moisture would accumulate in the corners. It would lead to destruction. Plus, all water gets dried out thanks to the hole. Windows are made of triple glass. The outer glass takes the pressure. The middle one works like a fuse. 
The third layer protects the second one from passengers who like to touch it. Technically, the plane could fly with one layer, but it would be dangerous. They also installed extra protection for the wheels. They experience huge loads during landing, but don't worry, they won't burst. The tires can withstand pressure five to seven times bigger than they actually get. See the toilet sign on the door? There's a secret latch under it. Crew members can unlock the door from the outside, so don't expect complete privacy. Of course, it's prohibited for other passengers to do that. The cabin crew can open it in case of emergencies. When flight attendants pass through the cabin during the flight, they always touch the upper shelves above the seats. They don't check if the luggage compartments are closed. Along the bottom of these compartments, there are handles in the form of jagged edges. Flight attendants hold onto them not to fall. It's a pretty convenient thing, especially for those who don't like touching the seats with sitting passengers on the way to the toilet. There's an important reason why they install turbines under the wings. Previously, they put them in the plane's tail to improve the aerodynamics of the flight. If one of the engines stopped working, the cabin wouldn't shake so much. Yes, planes can fly with one turbine running. Also, the wings were thinner and streamlined thanks to turbines in the tail, which was also good for aerodynamics. But it turned out that such a location meant additional costs. The engine in the tail was inconvenient to maintain. They used to place it high, so people needed special equipment and extra time to service it. And of course, it affected the ticket price. They started to install turbines under the wings to save money and time. Have you ever noticed the flashing light in the cabin before takeoff? This happens when the pilot disconnects a plane from the airport power supply and switches to the onboard one. This rapid transition may cause flashing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest today, the garbage bag. Canadian inventors created this irreplaceable household item about 70 years ago. Today, it comes in a huge variety of shapes, colors, and sizes. And if you think it can only serve one basic purpose, I have a big surprise for you. It can even prevent you from unwanted communication, but more on that later. What if I told you that you've been using your garbage bags wrong your entire life? If you take a closer look at it, you'll probably notice that the seam is inside out, and it's not by accident. In fact, you're not supposed to shake up the bag to open it. You gotta place the bag over a garbage can like a hat, and then just push the middle of the bag down to the can. No worries, wow. you're not the only person who didn't know that. This eye-opening trick went viral online and got millions of views. Imagine that you need to dye your hair, paint walls, or mold a clay mug immediately, but you don't have a protective suit on hand. Here comes the good news. You can make one out of a plastic bag. It will take you less than a minute. Just find a bag wide enough to fit your torso. Cut one hole in the bottom of the bag for your head and make two holes for the arms on the sides. Voila, feel free to make a hat from another plastic bag to protect your hair. When the job is done, you can wash this handmade suit and reuse it. Our next hack is for those who don't like to waste money. You can use a real plastic bag instead of a raincoat that looks like a plastic bag anyway. Just make a round cut for your face and you're ready to go. You can reuse it as many times as you want. You can use a plastic bottle to create a recycled bag dispenser. Take a large bottle. It can be either a bottle of soda or washing gel. What matters is its shape. It must be straight so you can easily store bags inside it. Wash the bottle, dry it, and cut off the bottleneck and bottom. Turn it upside down. There you go. Your bag dispenser is ready. You can use your imagination to paint and decorate your DIY project with stickers and lettering to your taste. When the design is ready, Attach it to the back of the bottle and stick this holder to the wall in your kitchen or one of the cabinet doors. Imagine you've been planning a perfect hiking weekend for ages, but when you actually get there, it starts raining. Don't rush back home. Plastic bags will serve you well if you need to put your clothes or equipment on wet grass. Also, you can make an emergency sleeping bag cover using a large garbage bag. After the rain, it will serve as a nice mattress to lay under your sleeping bag to protect it from moisture and provide an additional layer for a cozy nap. Just fill the bag with some soft leaves and straw that lie on the ground, and there you go. A large garbage bag can be your best friend when you're camping with friends somewhere in the wild. You can turn it into a temporary handmade shower, toilet, or even a dressing room out of it. Just hang it on the tree and no one will spy on you. If you went for a walk wearing a pair of your favorite shoes that get wet easily, 
Here's an easy tip to keep your socks dry. Put plastic bags over your socks. Tuck the edges of the bags into your socks or trousers, and then put your shoes on. There's one obvious drawback, though. Feet can slip inside the shoes, so be careful. These plastic socks are also handy when you're trying to put on tight jeans that usually make your feet stick inside them. Have you ever had your bag torn at the worst possible moment? A plastic bag with handles can become an emergency backpack. Just place your stuff inside the bag, put your hands through the handlers, and you're ready to go. A garbage bag is also a good material for book covers. You can reuse multicolored bags to create a unique pattern for your favorites. You're moving to a new house and packing all your belongings. Suddenly, you run out of boxes. Sounds familiar? No problem. Grab a package of large garbage bags and pack the remaining stuff. Unlike boxes, this packaging will protect your property from rain or snow. Garbage bags are especially good for packing blankets, pillows, and stuffed toys. If you need to make a vacuum packing for your clothes or stuffed toys, simply put your belongings in a trash bag, place a tube from your vacuum cleaner inside the bag, and then turn it on. The vacuum cleaner will remove all your excess hair from the bag, and you'll save space in your suitcase or basement. Someone really special has invited you home to cook a romantic dinner together. Finally, you want to show all your extraordinary cooking skills. But your special someone doesn't have an apron, and you don't want to mess up your new outfit. No worries. Make an emergency apron using a large garbage bag. It will surprise that special someone even more. Speaking of stylish outfits, are you familiar with the term garbage bag dress? Celebrities and famous fashion brands shock the audience with outfits looking like trash bags from time to time. Some of them actually make outfits using garbage bags like fabric. It's a popular option for young artists who can't afford to buy and use expensive fabrics. Garbage bags are very flexible, so they are a useful material for making patterns for future outfits. When it comes to garbage bags, the DIY project's possibilities are almost infinite. People use bags to make lampshades, clothes covers, small cosmetic bags, makeup organizers, recycled glasses, and whatnot. Some even weave baskets, bags, and floor rugs out of them. It's pretty easy to handcraft a rug. You need to cut several bags into equal strips and weave a long braid from these strips. Now twist this braid into a spiral and tie or glue each layer together. To secure this entire construction from breaking, you can screw your rug on a sewing machine from the middle to the edges, as if you're drawing a star. This plastic braid can also serve as emergency laces, a rope, or a handmade ribbon for decorating gifts and flowers. Filmmaking is another yield where garbage bags can be real stars. If you're shooting indoors and the sunlight is too sharp, you can put white garbage bags on all windows to diffuse the light or to set the white balance. Black light-proof garbage bags may serve you as a shading curtain to get rid of the sunlight in the room whatsoever. Feel free to use a white bag to create a diffuse light bulb. Inflate the bag like a balloon and put it next to a lamp, but make sure to use a LED light so it doesn't get too hot. Everyone knows that touching a plastic bag with a hot iron is a bad idea because it will melt. But this lets us create unique shapes from this colorful and affordable material. Want to make a unique designer vase? Take a bowl and cover it with paper tightly. Then wrap the matching strips of plastic bag around the bowl. Now place another layer of paper on the top and gently iron over the entire surface of the bowl. Voila! The plastic's melted and you got a new stylish and eco-friendly vase. Garbage bags can produce very cool sound effects. If you live in a desert where it never rains and need to recreate that relaxing sound, use a plastic bag. It's always better to speak up like an adult, but if that doesn't work for you, here's a quick fix. Next time some annoying person calls you, don't bother to make excuses why you can't talk right now. Just grab a garbage bag and rustle it into your phone speaker yelling, Hello? Hello? I can't hear you! Confession time! Have you ever used this trick? Have you ever stopped to think about the thrilling secrets of day-to-day -day modern life on planet Earth? I'm talking about tiny windows and washing machines and little holes in airplane windows. If you haven't got a clue of what I'm talking about, tag along and allow yourself to be as surprised as I was when I found out. Remember the drawer at the bottom of your oven? Maybe you've been ignoring it all along or using it to store pots and pans. Well, even though it can serve this function, that's not the only thing it's there for. 
The best way to use the bottom drawer is to keep your meal heated while you're waiting to serve it. Genius, right? Talking about secret doors, have you noticed that most washing machines have little flap doors at the bottom too? These doors actually serve as drain traps. It's where all the items that we put to wash together with our jeans and jackets go to. It's a type of collector, let's say, of small items. It stops them from getting into the main drain pipes and clogging them. It saves us hundreds of dollars in repairs each month. Now, who hasn't gone through the confusing task of having to measure how much pasta to cook for one serving? Well, here's the solution. The holes in the center of pasta spoons. They were actually made for measuring the exact amount of dry pasta you need for one serving. If you try stuffing wet cooked pasta through it, well, good luck with that. On a similar topic, have you ever wondered why pen caps have holes in them? Maybe you thought it was a design feature to regulate air pressure. But in reality, these holes have a much simpler and more important function – to reduce the risk of choking. Now, lots of people love to bite on their caps, and this tiny hole prevents them from choking in case they accidentally swallow a cap and it gets stuck in their throat. For kitchen lovers, there's a hidden secret right in front of your eyes that can change your life. Think pans. Now think handles. Right, they have holes in them. As it turns out, these holes were designed to hold the spoon you're using for cooking. And instead of dripping sauce all over the stove or your kitchen floor, you can place the spoon in the hole and let it drip the sauce directly back into the pan. Woohoo! Speaking of everyday items, and I was, most doorknobs are made of brass because this material makes them naturally germ-free. Unlike plastic ones, brass doorknobs are kind of magical. They can disinfect themselves without you having to clean them. Neat, right? Have you ever noticed that at the bottom of a measuring tape, there is a little dip? You can find it in that metallic part you need to pull on to measure something. Well, that dip is actually the exact size of a regular nail. It was designed for people to place the tape on top of a nail and use it as a support while they stretch the tape. Well, I can't wait to try it out for myself. As for the margins in your notebook, They were invented to protect people's notes from mice. No, the mice weren't copying your answers for the math quiz. Actually, there were times when people had to cohabitate with rats and mice that often chewed on paper. So, to prevent information from getting completely lost, people created margins. This way, texts were moved closer to the middle of pages and remained unharmed by rodents. Hmm, perhaps this is where to digest information came from. And what about those tiny holes at the bottom of airplane windows? They have an extremely important function of regulating the air pressure inside the cabin. In other words, they help planes fly high up in the sky. Big responsibility, right? By the way, tray tables on an airplane are the germiest places inside the entire cabin. Studies showed that the trays had eight times the amount of germs on the toilet flush button. Now, how about we cut a commercial airplane in half and see what's inside? Well, it would look more or less like this. Rows of seats on top and everything else that needs to be stored at the bottom. I'm talking about passengers' luggage, emergency supplies, parts of the wing system, and so on. Moving on to bowling balls. Yes, I know it's a clumsy transition. Anyway, have you ever wondered what the insides of a bowling ball look like? If you have cut a professional ball in two, you'll see a familiar shape. Look closely, do you see it? Doesn't that look like the logo of Brightside? Anyway, professional bowling balls are different from the ones in your local bowling alley. That's because they're designed to make fancy moves. They actually have some really complex engineering inside. They're shaped to help skilled professionals get more strikes. The weight of professional bowling balls is designed to be projected inward as they travel down the bowling lane. This makes it harder for them to get into the gutters on the sides of the lane. 
Speaking of balls, let's take a look inside a baseball. To make it light and aerodynamic, producers use several different layers. Starting from the core, we have a cork center enveloped by black rubber. Then there's a layer of red rubber followed by two or three alternating layers of wool yarn. After that, there's a visible white leather cover and that beautiful red seam on the side, stitching it all together. And what if you had x-ray vision and managed to look inside a human bone? Ooh, spooky! I'd say what calls most attention is this spiderweb-like situation at the center of the bone. In reality, it's a highly condensed and complex structure of nerves that you have inside your bones. Aren't you lucky? Now, I've got a riddle for you. What is round can be found near the ocean and looks like an aerial view of the Guggenheim Museum in New York City, the one that's made almost entirely of ramps. If you said a nautilus shell, hey, then you guessed right. A nautilus is a shellfish whose house you can find in countless souvenir stores near the beach. It's made up of two layers, a matte white outer layer and an iridescent white inner layer. And if you were to cut it in half, it would look very similar to the insides of the Guggenheim Museum. Aloe leaves are good for healing purposes and also for hydration. But if you managed to look inside of an aloe leaf, the image you'd see would be satisfying and very relaxing. Who hasn't dreamed of a pool filled with jelly? Now, there seems to be nothing more mundane and regular than a tube of toothpaste. But you wouldn't think so if you cut open a tube that contains several colors. Now, there have been speculations that the insides of such a toothpaste tube might be divided by barriers so that the stripes don't mix. But if you cut it in half, you'll see that it has only one interior chamber. As it happens, there's a lot of science behind the making of striped toothpaste. According to a specialist, they have to ensure that the paste in all the stripes has the same physical properties. This way, the colors are naturally prevented from mixing with one another. That's why, if you tear a tube open, you'll see something that looks like several slices of pizza in different colors. If you open your closet, you're bound to find at least a few wooden hangers. Usually, they're made of cedar wood, which is a natural moth repellent. So, cedar hangers actually protect your clothes from moth infestation. For some people, more than others, eyeliner is an everyday must. Boy, isn't it. But did you know that back in ancient Egyptian times, both men and women used coal eyeliners to protect their eyes from the sun's glare? Way to go for the Egyptians for figuring that out. Now, if I could just learn to walk like one... Normally, we use headrests for the purpose of, well, resting our heads, right? Well, not only. As it turns out, headrests can be easily removed from the seats and used to break car windows in case of emergencies. Now, this one is a trick very few people know about. You probably place your doormat horizontally, like most of us do. But doormats serve the purpose of absorbing dirt from the soles of your shoes before you enter your home. So, for this function to work as it's meant to, the best way to place a doormat is vertically. This way, you take more steps on the top of the doormat before entering your house. And last but not least, now I don't want to be accusatory here, but you have probably been vacuuming your house the wrong way, and I can prove it. Most people just vacuum floors and carpets in one direction or move the brush back and forth several times, thinking they've got all the dust out. But according to cleaning professionals, the best way to vacuum is in rows. First, you go forward with the brush until you arrive at the end of the row. Then, you fluff the carpet up and move back down along the same row, gathering the dust that wasn't collected in the first sweep. Talk about efficient cleaning. On the other hand, my idea of house cleaning is to sweep the room with a glance. Hey, I don't want to disturb that protective layer of dust. There's a tricky anti-rodent disc to make sure no rat is aboard. Rats usually get on a boat via mooring chains, so this disc fits onto them. 
and no rodent can go on a voyage. Jewelry is often sold in small pouches. They actually have a hidden purpose. They help prevent tarnish. Most retailers assure that the ring or whatsoever was sold is safe and secure. In most supermarkets, oranges usually come in mesh bags. Well, those bags don't really have any hidden purpose, but you can turn it into a great scrubbing tool. Just tie it up and see how it works next time you have an extra greasy frying pan. You don't need to scoop the jam out of a double yogurt container section. This type of plastic is quite flexible, so you just need to fold it in half and pour the jam directly into the yogurt section. The hidden function of a cup plunger is actually that it was meant to be used for sinks. Yeah, it works for toilets too, but you can keep an extra one to unclog the sink in case you need it. An extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, the water won't overflow, and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster, as it gives an escape for the air helping the water flow down. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save them from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. It also helps regulate the temperature. The bubbles keep the water hot, so you can enjoy a bath a bit longer. Anyway, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat really fast either way. Escalator brushes aren't for keeping your shoes clean and polished. It might be tough to apply wax right on that brush while the escalator's moving. It's for our safety. Brushes won't let you come close to the edge, so a long coat or boot-cut jeans won't end up in between the steps. Originally, golf balls were smooth. They have a dimpled surface now because players noticed that overused balls with damages flew better than brand new ones. At some point, manufacturers started producing balls with dimples. If you take a box of aluminum foil, you'll see tabs you can press on the side. They keep the foil straight and prevent it from rolling. It's also easier to tear off some amount of foil thanks to those tabs. Jerry cans have three handles for a reason. It's a smart designer move, so when you carry it alone, you use only the central handle to distribute the weight evenly. But your friend wants to help you out. Each of you grabs the side handle. Two flat prongs you can see on standard plugs used in North and Central America make sense. But how about those holes near the tips? Thanks to them, the outlet firmly grips the plug so that it won't loosen or fall out of the socket. It's sometimes irritating when you haven't used the entire stick of deodorant. There's a little bit more left, but it's hard to reach it. Okay, the trick is easy. Unscrew the bottom, take a pencil, and force it underneath that moving platform. That way, you'll push what's left of the deodorant out. There's a number put on the side of many cosmetic products. It isn't picked randomly. It tells you how long your product will last after you've opened it. This is why it has an open jar for a graphic symbol. A lint roller is good at removing those tiny fibers, but you can also use it to clean other stuff. For example, when you want to remove the dirt from the utensil tray in your dishwasher, simply take your sticky lint roller and put it into each compartment, and all the crumbs, dirt, and leftovers are all gone. Kings depicted on playing cards are real historical characters. Spades, King David. Clubs, Alexander the Great. Hearts, Charles the Great. Diamonds, Julius Caesar. Rings used to be more than a stylish accessory. The nobility used rings as a seal. Archers wore rings to protect their fingers from bowstring injuries, while needlewomen from needle pricks. Detachable headrests in cars are all about safety. If you pull it out of a seat, you'll see two pretty sturdy bars. If you ever get locked or trapped in a car, you can get out of there smashing the window with these bars. A little arrow next to the refueling indicator on the car's dashboard indicates which side of the vehicle has fuel tank openings. It's useful when you need to refuel a rented car. You are probably using shampoo wrong all the time. Well, the main thing you should know is that you don't apply it directly on your hair. You gotta apply it onto the roots only. The foam that you make is enough to clean your hair. A button on the reverse side of a shirt collar is needed to hold a tie in place. Anyway, this button was designed for slim ties that are not that popular today, so this button is only an element of design. 
A cotton pads pack has those strings on it to hang it on some hook or holder. There's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom. It has a perforated line. Tear along it and just pull out a cotton pad from a hanging pack. It's a myth that the red side of the eraser is for pencil and the blue one is for ink. The blue gets rid of mistakes on thicker types of paper only. It works both for pencil and even ink. But make sure the paper is really thick. But that blue little thing can do so much more. It can polish your jewelry, clean your electronics. For example, the screen of your cell phone. You know those irritating sticker residues that won't peel off? Eraser helps there too. Same as with cleaning scuffed up suede or dirt you have on your walls. There's no need to tear one of its edges on stick sachets. The right way is to tear them down the middle. You say it's not a big difference, but at least there's less mess with those torn paper bits. A small V patch at the bottom of the collar helps put on the sweater without losing any shape over time because it's made of a double layer of webbing material, just like waistbands and cuffs. To avoid spilling juice right onto your t-shirt, try pouring it from the other side of the carton. This way, it sloshes less and it's easier to control. To enjoy fresh and soft peanut butter, store it upside down. This way, the oils won't stay on the bottom all the time and distribute evenly in the jar. Yeah, you've heard before that a drawer beneath your oven is there for keeping the food warm if the guests are running late. Hey, you can also slow cook on lower temperatures in that drawer. Automatic lip liners and eye pencils sometimes have a sharpener installed in the package. The lid on the back part of the pencil doesn't only reveal the color. You can pull it out and sharpen up the product. Grocery cart loops help organize all the stuff in your cart better so you can enjoy your supermarket trip. You don't want to put your brand new fancy white jacket in a cart next to carrots and onions, huh? Fruit stickers know everything about your apple's past. A five-digit number where the first number is nine is a good sign. It's an organic product. A four-digit number starting with a three or four means it was conventionally farmed. If the number starts with an eight and there are five digits, it's best to leave it on the shelf. Metal buttons on jeans, also known as rivets, help make the pockets more durable when miners would fill them with heavy tools. They're still helpful today. Even if you don't store anything heavy in your pockets, rivets strengthen the seams and make your jeans last longer. All Tic Tac containers are designed to dispense one Tic Tac every time you open it. The lid has the same shape as the candy. Turn the container upside down, gently shake it and slowly open it. You'll notice only one candy stuck between those lid grooves. So if you just open the container and shake it until five or even more candies fall into your mouth, it means you've been eating Tic Tacs wrong all this time. So consider this. People started making ridge patterns on coins in past centuries to fight counterfeiters. In the old days, cheaters cut off the smooth edges of coins and used that metal to mint new money. But with ridges, it became impossible to hide the cutting. These small cylinders on the charging cables are called chokes or ferrite cores. They're magnetic iron oxide that helps to prevent electromagnetic interference. In simple words, they protect your device from faults. We all know about these little pockets on jeans where people used to keep their pocket watches. But what about these small metal buttons? They help hold the fabric together. Weavers put the buttons where the jeans can tear during moving and straining. These small holes on some backpacks were designed to tie extra gear to them, so you can pass ropes through them and tie sneakers if you don't want to keep them inside your backpack or in your hands. This tiny dot next to the camera on your iPhone is a microphone. It helps to get good quality of sound while taking a video. The spotlight feature on your Mac can be used not only for a quick search of files and apps, it also works as a calculator. Just type in a mathematical problem you need to solve. Spotlight also uses internal dictionary data. Enter any word in the search bar, and you can get information about it. You've just bought a new bottle of oil. You're taking off the lid and looking at this little cork that you can tear off by pulling the loop. Take this thing out, but don't throw it in the trash. Put it back in an upside-down position to control the pour's flow by pressing your finger against it. Tiny ridges on the F and J keys on the keyboard help your fingers navigate during touch typing. When your index fingers are on these ridges, you know exactly where other letters are. 
The brushes on the sides of the escalators are not for polishing your shoes, but for your safety. These nylon bristles prevent your laces and clothes from getting inside the escalator's gears. Now, that wouldn't be good. Most door handles are made of brass. This type of metal is good for fighting microbes. Bacteria can't multiply that much on such surfaces. These public toilets' cubicles don't look private for a reason. Huge gaps at the bottom were created to make you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thanks to this design, there are almost no cubes. You can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down. Just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. Sailors used them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. They make most clothes hangers from cedarwood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric in new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this round plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. <clears throat> you're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate and all the grains will fall out through the hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin, and the two ends should be directed back. 
Lay your head forward, and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position. And you'll get a good nap. They create magnets in a horseshoe shape to increase their magnetic power. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part the north one. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction. Thanks to the perfect aviation design, most planes can fly a long distance even without an engine. In 1268, Roger Bacon made the first written mention on using telescope lenses for optical purposes. Magnifying lenses inserted in frames were popular for reading both in Europe and China at this time, so it's still a question if the West took it from the East or vice versa. If you find yourself in the middle of the sea without food, sorry, you can try fishing. You can use anything for bait – your phone, watch, keys – and you can use laces as a fishing line. Tie the bait and throw it into the water. And good luck catching the fish that swallowed your phone. It's going to be a whopper. You can turn over the tab on a lid of soda cans and use it to hold a cocktail straw in place. The blue half of the eraser wasn't originally created to delink the ink. Initially, the blue part erased inscriptions and drawings on thick paper. The red part couldn't do it without leaving streets, but the blue one handled this task perfectly. Most of us tear sticking notes off incorrectly. Try not to do it from below, but from the side along the licking lawn. The paper will stick to the wall for longer this way. Ever wondered what these two holes in the lollipop stick are for? All the time, you say. Well, when they put the bar in hot syrup, the liquid flows inside. It creates a solid attachment for the plastic. And so it goes. You know, there are all sorts of amazing things you can do with products already lying around the house that were meant for other things. We'll explore some of those, plus everyday items that have other purposes you may not be aware of. I'm also in a silly mood, so hey, let's have some fun. Many pairs of kitchen scissors today have a serrated opening where the handles and blades meet. You can use this as an herb stripper to destem difficult herbs like thyme, rosemary, and chives. Saves you a lot of time trying to pick the leaves off by hand. And if you're short of a vase, you could present roses to your significant other this way. Just be careful when you're pointing the sharp end. The metal tab on soda cans can be flipped around. You can slip a straw in place so you don't have to hold it up to your mouth. This stay-on tab replaced the pull ring tab created in the early 60s. You uh, remember those, don't you? Those could be quite sharp and easily discarded where they could be a menace for others. Now you can pop your straw straight into one. Also means you can produce some bubbles and make a mess. Sometimes when you purchase an article of clothing, you receive a plastic baggie with an extra button and a swash of fabric. While the fabric is clearly used to patch holes, it can also be used to test the effects of various cleaners on certain surfaces. It's handy, too, to test wash cycles before using them to wash the whole garment. And if you want to clean your nose with it, that suggestion never came from me. You can use a screwdriver for leverage if you're having trouble lifting or moving something. Some also have a hexagonal shape handle that fits inside a wrench or spanner. You can use it to improve torque and, again, for leverage. A little easier on your hands. Some of us aren't that strong. Or maybe that's just me. Rubber bands are great for many things, but if you have a bottle that's hard to open, you can wrap the band around it for a better grip. Escalators have those fluffy black brushes for a similar reason that some have yellow lines on their steps to try and deter people from getting too close to dangerous places. People don't always take notice, and sometimes clothing can drape close to a point where the step meets the edge or skirt. The brush is a little barrier to help prevent this from happening. They can also catch bits of fluff and prevent other small things from falling down into the gaps. Your average pair of jeans has several features that are both functional and somewhat sentimental. The metal rivets around the pockets help secure the stress points. This ensures they last a bit longer than average, though not all jeans have them. Many still have a tiny pocket directly above the main pocket. 
This was originally meant to hold a pocket watch. Even though pocket watches are mostly a thing of the past, many people still use this space to store coins, rings, or even a portable USB. Now, this may seem a little obvious, but if you've ever wondered what all the notches are in a car tire, it's for traction on the road. However, there are also a good indicator if your tire is getting too worn down. If those notches aren't so deep anymore and are almost flush with the road, it's time to replace them. If you don't, the next time you try to stop suddenly at a stop sign, you might be surprised to find your car has turned into a giant roller skate. Those takeaway containers most associated with Chinese restaurants are designed to not only carry your food home, but to store them in the fridge. They double as a plate, as you can eat straight out of them and don't have to worry about dirty dishes. Yay! They were actually patented way back in 1894 to transport freshly shucked oysters and were known as oyster pails. They were later adapted to use as leak-proof containers for food. While you're sitting on an airplane and looking out the window, you may have noticed those little holes, or in some instances, a small singular opening near the bottom. This is called a breather hole, and no, it's not for you. It's designed to equalize the difference in air pressure which builds up between the pressurized cabin and the atmosphere outside, especially during high altitudes. It also releases moisture from between the panes to avoid frost from forming on the windows and obstructing that all-important view. Sorry, but it looks like you won't be drawing a smiley face on it anytime soon. This was first introduced way back in 1956 by a company in Japan. Pretty cool, huh? They got their inspiration from snap-off rows on chocolate bars. Just don't get the two mixed up. One doesn't taste good. When it comes to measuring tape, almost every reel has an empty slot in the metallic end. This is called a nail grab, so you can attach it to a nail or screw. A handy trick to do measurements without requiring someone else to hold it in place. Ooh, very nifty. Bobby pins have grooves on one side to hold your hair in place better. Crazy notion, huh? The straight side goes face up, while the grooves go down against your head. They're called bobby pins because of the bobbed hairstyle, which was popular in the 1920s, though the pins were invented in the 19th century. The look is gone, but the pins remain. Please take them out before you wash your hair, as they don't look great stuck to your fingers. If you've been in a car or a bus and noticed the textured black dots baked into the black edges, you've probably worked out that it's not there for its pretty looks. It's called frit, a ceramic paint. Its main purpose is to protect the window from ultraviolet rays. It also creates a rough surface for the adhesive to cling to. Now, if you see a pink lump of adhesive in the corner, please do not touch it. It's actually someone's old bubble gum. If you take a look at the bottom of the lock, chances are you'll see one or two little holes. This is to let water out from the inside that may have been trapped due to rain. This mini draining capability prevents the inner working from rusting over or freezing in place if the weather is very cold. If, in another situation, the lock becomes stuck, you can ease an oil-based product inside to lubricate the lock and get it working again. If you've lost the key and want to ease your frustrations, you can yell into the holes. It won't do anything to unlock it, but it may help you feel a little better. Some dress shirts have a fabric loop on the back. You guessed it, it's used for hanging the shirt up. The loops were reportedly first used in the Navy, as it was easy to simply hang them on the wall. During the 1960s in colleges, the fashion of the day was to wear the shirt buttoned all the way to the top, which made them difficult to hang. So designers began putting the loop on the back. If the student removed the loop, it signified that they were going steady in a relationship. Unless your friend ripped one off for a prank, now everyone's asking whom you're with. There's a little more to this story, but we haven't got time to hang around. And yes, that's a bad pun. On purpose. It's what I do. Ever wondered why coins have those little ridges along the edge? 
It's a leftover from earlier times when they were worth more. Counterfeiters could easily file the edges off to sell as gold or silver coins to make some profit. The ridges were created so it was much easier to tell which of the coins had been altered. It's not needed today, but the coins still have that altered style. If you ever get really bored, you could try counting how many ridges there are. Actually, that is a very boring idea. Forget that and watch another Brightside video instead. Crackers have holes in them to stop them cracking and breaking during baking. If the holes weren't there, steam would build up inside the cracker and make it collapse. Take a look at a soda bottle and you'll notice a disc inside the bottle cap. This helps seal in the liquid and the drinks fizz, stopping it from going flat. The long neck on your soda bottle is designed like that to encourage you to hold it there. That way, the heat from your hand will only warm that top bit of the bottle instead of heating up your whole drink. It's always hard to see your food in the microwave because of that pesky black grate on the window, but it's there to stop harmful microwaves from escaping. Called the Faraday Shield, it protects you as well as ensures that your food cooks properly. Food items like chips come with about 43% nitrogen inside their package. It might seem like they sell you half a bag of air, but it's exactly the opposite. Oxygen, the gas we breathe, would react with the chips inside the bag and make them go rancid quickly. It's called oxidizing for a reason. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is an inert gas that helps keep the foodstuffs fresh and also protects them from breaking during transportation. A bag of chips that has this gas cushion lets you enjoy your crunchies without them turning to potato crumbs. Donuts have holes in them so that the inside and outside cook evenly. Before the holes were added, the inside would often be greasy and doughy while the outside was crisp. Margins on paper aren't for writing in dates and numbering lists. They were originally added to serve a protective function. Back in the day, rats used to be a pesky problem in people's homes, and paper was one of their favorite snacks. Margins were added as a safeguard so that the rats would nibble on blank paper, rather than taking a bite out of your important work. That hole in your hollow lollipop stick isn't to prevent choking should it ever be swallowed. It's actually there to keep the candy in place. Excess candy flows into the hollow tube, and the hole, which when it hardens, keeps the pop in place. If it was a smooth stick, the candy would slide off easily. Vacuums come with so many attachments, but do any of us really know what that one with long bristles is for? It's for dusting and is perfect for cleaning framed art, blinds, and lampshades. What's the difference between a wooden hanger and a plastic one? Aside from helping keep your clothes in shape, cedar wood hangers also repel moths and bugs. Salt isn't just used for cooking, it can get rid of tough smells. Rubbing salt on your fingertips after chopping garlic should remove the smell. It also works on shoes. Toasters have a secret slide in the bottom that can be removed, so you can clean out all those annoying breadcrumbs. If you ever had problems with popping chocolates from the box, look at those little holes around them. They're there to help you. If you push a hole right next to the candy, it'll jump out easily. When you take a sip from a coffee cup with a lid, it decreases air pressure inside the cup, so air tries to get in. The tiny hole on the lid allows air to enter that way, so liquid can smoothly pour out the main hole. More on beverage lids. The small button on them let restaurant workers, and customers too, understand what's in a cup. Near each button, there's a name. Just look at which one is pushed down. The numbers on the fruit stickers tell you how exactly they were grown. If there are four digits and the first is four or three, the fruit has been sprayed with pesticides. If there are five digits and the first is nine, the fruit has been grown organically. If there are five digits and the first is eight, the fruit has been genetically modified. When you're on your way back to the car after bagging up everything you bought, use loops on a shopping cart to hang the bags. Now, softer items like bread, eggs, fruit, and veggies won't get squashed by the heavier goods. 
If you don't have anyone to hold the other end of your tape measure when you try to measure something, tap a nail on it. Now, simply hook your tape on it using the tiny hole all tape measures have. The square-shaped spoon that goes with a McFlurry helps to mix the ice cream toppings through the dessert. The spoon hooks directly to a machine and spins around. Padlocks that are used outside quickly get out of order because of rain. See this little hole in the bottom? It's made for pouring engine oil inside. Do this and the key will again turn in the lock without any difficulty. You keep banging the bottom of a glass ketchup jar, but nothing's coming out. Here's a little tip. Turn your ketchup bottle at an angle and tap on the middle of the neck. In many fast food restaurants, customers fill tiny folded paper cups to get a portion of ketchup or mustard. Here's the news. The cups are supposed to unfold and turn into small paper platters to hold a great deal more sauce. That little hole on the handle of a pot or a frying pan isn't just for hanging them on the wall. During cooking, put the end of your utensil in the hole, and it'll be propped over the pot to save your kitchen from extra mess. The blue or any other dark color bristles on your toothbrush are meant to remind you when it's time to get a new one. If you see that bristles have become pale, change the toothbrush or its head. An extra hole at the upper part of the sink has multiple hidden functions. First, in case someone forgets to close the tap, the water won't overflow and the bathroom won't get flooded. Second, thanks to that hole, the water drains faster as it gives an escape for the air, helping the water flow down. Most metallic zippers have a hidden lock inside them to save you from awkward situations, such as an undone fly. Don't leave the zipper handle in an upward position. When you pull it downwards, it automatically locks. It's all thanks to those tiny grooves hidden underneath the handle. Spoiled milk emits gases, like most foods when they go off. A classic plastic milk jug has a concave shape on one side. So when the gases expand inside the jug, it expands too, and the concave shape curves out. Also, if you want to save some milk for later and freeze it, the jug will expand when the milk gets solid as well, occupying more space in a jug. Bath foam isn't only for fun or a nice smell. It also helps regulate the temperature. The bubbles keep the water hot, so you can enjoy a bath a bit longer. Anyway, it works for acrylic bathtubs only. Those made of metal lose heat really fast either way. Many cups and mugs have little grooves on the bottom on purpose. They're designed for washing machines. The grooves let the water flow and not spill over your feet when you take the cup out. Also, those grooves let the air flow so the cup doesn't crack even if the tea is scalding. A point on an ointment cap is there for a reason too. Most tubes are usually sealed with foil and it's better to avoid opening it with fingers unless you're ready to say goodbye to your nails. A point easily opens even the most safely sealed tube. Escalator brushes aren't for keeping your shoes clean and polished. It might be tough to apply wax right on that brush while the escalator's on the move. It's for your safety. Brushes won't let you come close to the edge, so a long coat or boot-cut jeans won't end up in between the steps. All Tic Tac containers are designed to dispense one Tic Tac every time you open it. The lid has the same shape as the candy. Turn the container upside down, gently shake it, and slowly open it. You'll notice only one candy stuck between those lid grooves. So, if you just open the container and shake it until five or even more candies fall into your mouth, it means you've been eating Tic Tacs wrong all this time. The pom-pom on top of your beanie wasn't put there as a fashion accessory. The pom-pom was originally added to the hat to prevent sailors from banging their heads on the ceilings of the ships that were too low. <clears throat> now, the earliest logos can be traced back to ancient family crests. In the Middle Ages, people with pubs and shops started using various symbols to present what they did and to distinguish themselves from others in their line of business. But why is it so important for a brand to have an impactful logo? Well, because first impressions count, even for businesses. 
A well-crafted logo can send the right message to potential customers and help people learn more about your business at first glance. With so many logos to look at nowadays, especially since the beginning of e-commerce, it's easy to overlook the hidden meanings and symbols in everyday products. The Domino's Pizza logo also says a lot about the company's past. As the name suggests, there's a domino piece in the graphic design of the logo. The initial plan was to add another dot to the domino for each new location. But the company grew so big that adding dots for all the locations wasn't possible. So those three dots we see today are there to remind customers of the three initial locations of the pizza chain. Now, when you look at the Beats logo, the first thing that comes to mind is the letter B, and rightly so. But there's a hidden meaning here as well. The red circle actually depicts a person's head, while the white letter B also stands for a pair of headphones. Another very customer-oriented logo is that of the brand LG. The company designed its logo to include both the company's initial name, Lucky Gold Star, and the company's current slogan, Life's Good. A careful look at their logo shows not only the letters L and G, but also a smiley face. They may be one of the most famous jean manufacturers in the world, but their brand identity also has some hidden meaning in it. The Levi's logo is designed in the shape of a pocket that can be found on each and every pair of the jeans they produce. The FedEx logo is also very cool. At first glance, it looks like the words Fed and X written together in two contrasting colors, purple and orange. But if you look closely between the letters E and X, you'll notice that the negative space is in the shape of an arrow pointing to the right. It symbolizes movement and agility. The Unilever Group has a staggering number of brands all over the world, more than 400. It's no surprise that their U-shaped logo is composed of many different symbols, like a flower, a spoon, or a bird. It's done to showcase how many things they produce, from food and refreshments to personal care and beauty products. NBC, or the National Broadcasting Company, is a broadcast and radio network with a logo that's very nice to look at. It's bright, colorful, and flashy. Why is that? Well, because the network was created at about the same time color television started to gain momentum. The bird-shaped NBC logo symbolizes the initial six divisions of the network. And the colors are also a nice reminder to customers that NBC is proud as a peacock of their programs. The Evernote logo is another of those designs that clearly shows the brand's overall purpose. While the font used is relatively simple, on the left of the word Evernote, there's a depiction of an elephant. The animal is a well-known symbol of good memory, and the shape of its ear is curled like a post-it note. A cool touch for an app designed for organization and note-taking, wouldn't you say so? Now, the Cisco logo comes with its own little secret as well. The font is quite minimalistic, but the lines above are there to depict the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. The first CEO of the company, a man named John Morgridge, thought this would be a great idea to emphasize moving toward the future and connecting two worlds. The Amazon logo is everywhere these days, but there's a small detail in there that most people probably miss. The arrow connecting the letters A and Z, the one in the shape of a smile, is there to point out that they have a complete inventory of products, from A to Z. Audi is one of those brands that likes to showcase their history. Those four simple intertwining circles on the company's logo are a reminder of the four companies which were initially part of the conglomerate – DKW, Porsche, Wanderer, and Audi. There's a nice story behind the Baskin-Robbins logo as well. Between the letters B and R, in the middle of the logo, you can notice the number 31. Why is that? Because the company has 31 original flavors of ice cream. I think I've darn near tried them all. A lot of companies out there like to give their logos a bit of a vintage touch, and Picasa is one of them. Before we had digital cameras and the perfect portrait was just a click away, Analog cameras had a little thing called a shutter. That's a device that opens to let light pass through, exposing the film and creating a photograph. The Picasso logo is just that, 
a shutter nicely colored in red, blue, green, purple, and orange. The 7-Eleven logo has a nice twist that might not have caught your eye by now. The N at the end of the word is in lowercase, unlike the rest of the letters, which are in all caps. It's said that the company's president's wife, back in the 60s, wanted to make the company's logo look a bit less harsh. She believed that the uppercase font would be a bit too rigid, and she wanted to make the overall appearance of the logo more fluid. A graphic designer found a solution by switching to a lowercase n at the end of the word. So I'm guessing that when you pronounce it, you just throw away the lowercase n, like 7-Eleven. Or not. Chocolate fans must know the Toblerone brand. If you're one of them, have you ever noticed all the intricate detailing in its logo? The city of Bern in Switzerland, where the company was founded, is also named the City of Bears. When you visit this place, you'll see that there are bears everywhere, from the city's coat of arms to public trash cans. The Toblerone chocolate is shaped like a mountain, hence the mountain in the logo. But there's also a bear depicted there, hidden in the negative space. The Chick-fil-A logo is one of those that goes straight to the point with their imagery. The C stands for chicken, of course, but it's also shaped like a chicken if you look closely. Another great example of negative space used creatively is the Formula One logo. Between the F, which stands for the word formula, and the horizontal lines depicting red flames, the number one is intelligently hidden. Bet you didn't see that one. One of the greatest sportswear brands, Adidas, has a mystery of its own. At first glance, its logo is merely comprised of three vertical lines. Don't they look like a mountain to you? This mountain is there to symbolize the effort athletes have to make to reach the top, which is like, you know, climbing a mountain. The IBM logo has its own statement to make. The three letters of the company's name, I, B, and uh, M, are designed to be the horizontal lines meant to symbolize speed and dynamism. This is one of the company's main values, which has always been important to the founders. With a cool logo to present to the world, Ray-Ban has become a household name for sunglasses. Just to make sure you don't miss what they actually do, the B in the logo is designed like a pair of shades. The worldwide internet source of information, Wikipedia, has a logo to match its brand identity. The globe is made of many puzzle pieces, each with a different symbol on it, and some missing pieces as well. It tells the story of the company's mission without a single word. That's a nice lesson in storytelling, don't you think? Subway is one of those brands that have a nice combination of the logo and name, meant to symbolize that you can have a delicious meal anytime. The pointing arrows on the letter S and Y look like the directions found at Subway Station. Now, there's no way you can miss the two pieces of chocolate in the Hershey Kisses logo. But there's a third one hidden in there if you look closely. Have you seen it yet? It's hidden between the letters K and I. If you've ever redecorated a house or planned a wedding, you most likely use Pinterest to store and share ideas. The Pinterest logo looks like the letter P in a red circle. But look again. This P is shaped like a drawing pen. To the untrained eye, the logo of the London Symphony Orchestra looks like an eccentric red curved line. But in reality, it has a purpose of its own as it symbolizes a musical conductor. Another brand with hidden imagery in its logo is Magic Coffee. The cup of coffee on the top of the name is shaped like a top hat if you take a closer look. Okay, I'm ready for some food now. Okay, I know it's kind of cold to the touch, especially on a freezing winter's day. But did you know that brass doorknobs actually serve a purpose apart from looking classy and shiny? Since it's a copper alloy, brass has antimicrobial properties. That means it can help get rid of harmful germs and bacteria, sometimes in up to two hours. In high traffic areas, that's all the more useful. But since brass is much costlier than other metals like nickel and steel, you barely see these types of doorknobs anymore nowadays. Speaking of lovely multi-purpose items, most screwdrivers have a tiny little secret of their own. They can sometimes be slid through a wrench so that they can be used to create more torque when twisting, not to mention the uses when it comes to bolts in hard-to-reach places. There's a reason why buttons on women's shirts are for the left-handed, and it has nothing to do with fashion.
This practice dates back to the times when chambermaids were helping ladies dress themselves, and it was easier for them to perform their job with this orientation. Having the buttons placed as such indicated a sign of wealth, so it's easy to imagine why the practice carried on, even though most people dress themselves nowadays. Next time you receive a package in your mail, take a look at your box cutter. If it features some diagonal lines on the blade, you're in for a little design perk. Turns out that these are blades that snap off. Continuously cutting cardboard can dull the sharp edge of the blade. To help prevent the need to buy a brand new box cutter, the top segment along the next line can be broken off to reach a new sharp edge. To do this, check out the small hole at the base of the tool, sometimes called the blade snapper. The people that first came up with this brilliant invention were engineers inspired by the way chocolate bars are segmented. Hold on a minute, don't throw away the cardboard package just yet. Most likely, you'll have some silica gel packets somewhere at the bottom of the box. Since this gel is basically a drying tool, it gathers up the moisture out of its environment, so you can store these packets for further occasions. Whether you'll need to dry out your phone or some other electrical object, you can place them in a container next to the silica gel to reduce the damage. You don't have to be a mechanic to know when a standard car tire needs replacing, since they come equipped with a neat indicator. Take a closer look, and you'll see that treads within the tire are a bunch of rubber notches. When the treads are evened out with the perpendicular bars, it's a sign you need to book an appointment with your local car service. Since most likely the tires have lost most of their traction and may not be safe for driving any longer, the upper corners of a car windshield feature textured black dots melted into the glass edges. This neat add-on isn't there for design purposes. It's called frit glazing, which means that a special type of ceramic paint is added to the window for protecting its sealant from UV rays. It also conceals and creates a coarser surface for the adhesive used to set the window in place. Whenever you're up for a drive, Check out if there's a small tab under your car's rearview mirror. Bet you didn't know it's there to help switch the mirror from daytime to nighttime views. It uses a prismatic glass technology to blur the reflection and reduce the glare of headlights behind you in traffic. People came up with these manually tilted mirrors in the 1930s, but they became standard somewhere in the 1970s. While you're in the car, Check out the headrests, as you most likely don't know that they carry a little disguised purpose. Of course, they're adjustable to accommodate passengers of any height so that they get the proper support for their heads and necks. The hidden feature is that they are detachable and come with two very solid metal bars. Should you ever find yourself stuck in a car and need to make a fast getaway, these bars come in handy to crack out the car windows. So you're out for a drive and you're suddenly out of gas. What I'm about to describe sounds more like a meme than an actual situation bound to happen. But what if you're in such a hurry that you accidentally drive off with the gas nozzle still in the tank? Well, the nozzles have been designed to prevent any hazards from happening, rest assured. They feature a breakaway device that will allow the hose to separate when taken out with enough force. Initially designed in the early 20th century to be worn exclusively by basketball players, Sneakers soon became one of those fashion fundamentals, similar to jeans and leather jackets. If you take a closer look at them, you'll see they have two extra holes on the side, similar to the shoelace holes. They're manufactured as such not only to provide extra ventilation, but to allow people to get extra creative with their laces when wearing the shoes. Admit it, you've always thought that chopsticks are merged at the end for the sole purpose of keeping them together until you're ready to dig into your meal. That may or may not be the whole truth. Under a more detailed inspection, the wooden tools feature a square-shaped end. Chopsticks manufactured like this date back to an old Japanese traditional design, which can help with breaking the ends easily. The separated end can then be used as a resting block for the chopsticks to keep it more sanitized in hopes it can be used again, since they won't be touching the table or any other surface. Women's bikes have a special design which, surprisingly, has a historical and fashionable purpose. The lower frame is for the most part meant to make up for the generally shorter height of ladies, compared to that of the average gentleman. While that is the case for handlebars and saddles, the overall frame is lower for an additional purpose. Way back when women wore long skirts and dresses all day, every day they needed to make sure their outfits wouldn't get caught in the frame. That's how we came up with a lower-framed bicycle, 
perfectly made for women and their needs at the time. The fact that toothpastes are multicolored is not just a nice perk to make dental hygiene more fun. There's a secret meaning related to each of the colors, which dates back to the 1970s. In those days, people grew more and more interested in their oral health care, and as such, they were looking for products which could do more than merely clean their teeth. One company was the pioneer in that regard, adding mouthwash to its toothpaste, meaning the blue strip. They later added on the red strip, meant to feature ingredients which helped with gum care. Speaking of toothpaste, check the cap next time you open a new tube. You may be in for a little surprise. There's a pointed cone shape inside the cap, so you can puncture the seal of the toothpaste without cutting yourself or ruining your manicure. Not to mention, it's more hygienic since you won't be able to transfer germs or other bacteria into the product itself. On the subject of bathroom countertop items, toothbrushes come with a neat add-on hidden in the bristle patterns. Apart from making the toothbrush look cooler, they also do come with a practical purpose. Most toothbrushes come with a pattern of blue bristles intertwined with white ones. The blue dye is meant to fade out, signaling the time when you need to replace your toothbrush. Dentists say that toothbrushes should be replaced every three to four months, but it does serve as a great reminder in case you forget. Still love playing with Lego? Don't judge. Hey, it's a great hobby for all ages. Notice there's a hole on top of the Lego heads? Behold, you're looking at a safety feature that the people at Lego designed to prevent choking hazards. The most dangerous issue should a person swallow any of these pieces is the blocking of the airways. Designing a hole inside the Lego head helps the air to flow freely through the piece until it can be removed safely. We're now used to all sorts of modern light bulbs, some tubular, some shaped like diamonds, and some even twisted all together. Historically, light bulbs were round and the initial shape served a purpose in itself. It was mainly connected to the fact that glass bulbs were hand-blown, which gave them the round shape to begin with. The hidden practical reason was that the light bulb filament needed to be at the same distance from every surface of the glass sphere. The easiest way to achieve this was to make the glass in the shape of a globe. Hey, have you ever been vibing out in your room, listening to some of your favorite songs, admiring the subwoofer of your speaker as it delivers magnificence to your eardrums? We all have. But have you ever asked yourself why that same speaker, along with other speakers across the globe, is almost always black? Some of you are probably screaming at your screen right now about your speaker being green, red, or any other color found in the rainbow. Number one, I said, almost always. And number two, if you look closely at the gorgeous design of your brightly colored music player, you'll often find that the speaker beneath it is still colored black. One possible explanation for this is that the original technology of speakers had a diaphragm with black particles on it. So as soon as a sound is amplified, it sends a charge through the diaphragm and these black particles are driven upwards. The carbon particles bouncing and touching the upper membrane of the diaphragm are responsible for creating some of the distinct sounds from our speakers that we all love so much. Speaker manufacturers must have gotten tired of their products changing color with prolonged use, combined with these black particles settling on the upper membrane of the diaphragm. So their logical solution was to color most speakers black. Another more practical belief as to why speakers are mostly colored black is that it's a hue that easily matches up with many types of decor. Walls, furniture, and clothes all often look quite well when combined with this color, which is why it's so prevalent everywhere you go. Listening to music has repeatedly scored in the top 10 pastimes in the US based on research. Nowadays, you find sound speakers everywhere. In your television, laptop, and your phone, you can't escape them. But let's take a look at how they started off. Their origins are in radio and telephone technology. The first form of a speaker was developed by Johann Philipp Rice in 1861. The German was a self-taught inventor and installed the speaker on his telephone. It was just about able to reproduce clear tones, but it could also replicate muffled speech after a few revisions. Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, decided to try and produce an improved version of Rice's speaker. Essentially, Bell and other inventors wanted to make an electrodynamic speaker. 
by 1877, it was still yet to exist. But due to the desire of inventors worldwide to change this, research confirmed that it was extremely possible to make one. In particular, the work of Werner von Siemens, who came up with the idea of an electromagnetic coil-driven speaker, was a driving force in arriving at this conclusion. Why are there magnets in speakers, you might ask? Every speaker nowadays has an electric current, something the inventors were discussing would never have taken for granted at any point in their lives. When this electric current is changing, it produces a magnetic field. To make the panel of the speaker move, magnets are used to create an opposing magnetic field which creates vibrations. These vibrations are the sound we end up hearing. The bigger the magnet, the louder the speaker will be. Another inventor by the name of Thomas Edison from the US had filed a British patent for a system using compressed air for an amplifying mechanism. The first commercial electric loudspeaker saw the light of day only in 1924. The sound quality produced by the speaker was good enough for motion pictures. It took nearly 20 years for the next groundbreaking development in the world of loudspeakers. This came with the arrival of the duplex driver in 1943. It offered better clarity and coherence at high volumes, which was important in movie theaters. Fittingly, it was nicknamed the voice of the theater. The duplex driver was immediately tested by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and instantly made its film house industry standard in 1955. Until now, this loudspeaker design is still used. Indeed, the film industry does seem to put a lot of effort into its sound, and so do the theaters we watch them in. You may have noticed that these buildings often have thick curtains on the walls. These are soundproof or acoustic curtains, and both are much thicker than regular curtains. They will either consist of heavier fabrics that are tightly woven or have better quality linings. This means that these curtains will absorb sound and reduce the acoustic reflection off the ceiling, windows, and flat walls of the room. This ultimately creates a much better sonic experience. The carpet floors are so thick in theaters for the same reason. It helps to trap sound by providing insulation. From a practical standpoint, this carpet is also set up to prevent the sound of footsteps during film screenings. This concept of trapping sound is also the reason why putting a phone inside a cup will make the phone's speaker seem louder. Any speaker sitting or suspended in an open space projects its sound in all directions. As the speaker vibrates to create sound waves, an equal amount of energy leaves from both the front and the back. By placing a speaker in some form of enclosure, we can redirect some of the energy that comes from the back of the speaker and project it forwards. By putting the speaker in a cup, you're directing the sound more efficiently. It travels only one way, making it seem louder than what you'd hear when you take it out of the cup. Speaking of phones and speakers, ever wonder why your mobile device makes your speaker produce a buzzing noise? This can occur when the two gadgets are near one another and your mobile is trying to send and receive data. The transfer of information produces electromagnetic disturbances in the medium around the speakers. It creates noise in the audio, and as a result, you can hear the buzzing sound coming from the speaker. A simple way to protect the amazing vibe your speaker is creating for you from this irritating buzzing noise is just to move your phone away from your speaker, or vice versa. This will eliminate what is officially known as electromagnetic interference. Research across America shows that, on average, 74% of people own two or more pairs of headphones. 46% of them mention they listen to their headphones for more than two hours per day. Some choose the headphones by their looks, others by the sound quality. In either case, finding the right pair is important, since a lot of people are willing to spend over $100 on it. Headphones have become a true fashion accessory. That's why well-known figures are trying to make an impact in the headphone industry like it's the fashion industry. Music moguls Dr. Dre and Jimmy Iovine came up with the idea for the now world-famous Beats by Dre Headphones brand. They were walking along the Pacific Ocean one day in 2006, discussing a sneaker deal as they had an offer on the table from a major brand in that arena. After some discussions, they decided they wanted to do something they were more passionate about and landed on headphones. 
The Duo's idea turned into a brand that was purchased by Apple in 2014 for $3 billion. It was the largest deal in Apple's history, and Beats by Dre controlled 70% of the headphone market at the time of signing. The move allowed Apple to take over the headphone space. The release of their popular wireless AirPods headphones in 2016 was another reason it happened. But how did these popular wireless headphones that many of us own actually work? These headphones rely on internal batteries to have enough power to remain wireless. Most often, they have conveniently built-in rechargeable batteries. But sometimes, they keep going thanks to standard AA or AAA batteries. They receive wirelessly transmitted signals from their paired audio sources, be it your phone or laptop. These signals are encoded by the source device and transmitted most commonly via radio frequencies or infrared carriers. The headphones receive the signal and decode it to audio. And just like that, it's music to your ears. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just